everyone, welcome to Small Seeds. Today we are going to be giving you a quick tip to help start. Hello, welcome to Hello, welcome to Small Seeds. Today we are going to be giving you a quick tip to help aid you in identifying to help aid you in identifying different types of wild garlics, leeks, onions, and other members of the Allium genus. Allium is a Latin word for garlic, which is suiting for this genus since uh, onions, leeks, chives, shallots, and garlics belong to this genus, as well as their w other wild varieties. The Allium genus is a part of the Amaryllidacea, 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 the Amaryllidacea family. So the specific species of Allium we have here today is field garlic. And this is the one that is most commonly growing in our area that we use. We also have ramps, however, they are not as common. And since they take so long to actually mature, we'd rather just uh, be harvesting this field garlic here. Now it has gone to seed and it has these sweet little tiny baby garlic bulbs called bulbils. And these will drop to the ground and create new field garlic plants. Now the bulbils are actually also very edible. And they have a really pungent oniony onion flavor to them. Now the greens uh, can be used mainly in the springtime. Since it has gone to seed, the stalk is very hard. So it's not, a, it's not very edible at this point. And the bulbs actually make a really great onion substitute. So the quick tip to help you identify plants within this genus actually has to do with the smell. Plants within this genus have that pungent, garlicky onion odor, which actually has to do with sulfurous compounds found within the plant. And this is just a common indicator of garlic, onions, leeks. So there are some poisonous look-alikes for many of these plants. However, there are no smell-alikes. So the little tip here is that if it looks like a garlic or an onion or a member of the Allium genus, and it also smells like a garlic or an onion, then it is indeed edible. Now, of course, you're gonna wanna do your own research first and not just go around and smell plants to see if they smell like an onion or a garlic, but this is a really great tip to help aid you in your identification process. So thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope that this quick tip might help you in the future.